You're listening to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Pastor James Cleland. Sitting in for Sarah Gulseth. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for, for spending some time with me and helping out. My pleasure. Um, it's been great to have you as guest co-host while Sarah's away. We have some, we have a fun event. We're going to get busy, get active, mm. um, supporting youth heading to the LCMS National Youth Gathering in 2022. Some local youth right here in St. Charles, Missouri. So we'll talk about that in just a moment. Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin for supporting the Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live Uncommon. Joining us today, friends from Emmanuel Lutheran Church and School in St. Charles, Missouri. They're, they're one of their DCEs, Jolene Seberth. Jolene, thanks so much for being our guest on the Coffee Hour today. Thanks for having me. And event coordinator for the Houston Hustle, Anna Bilesmith. Thanks so much for being our guest today. Yes, thank you for having me. Well, I am excited to learn about this upcoming event. You have a 5K to support the youth going to the National Youth Gathering before we even get into the event and the 5K, which I, I do enjoy a good challenge, a good run, and a 5K <laughs> is a good way to like set to, set a goal for me. But before we get to that, let's talk about the, the National Youth Gathering and why it's important to you and the youth at Emmanuel. Jolene? Yeah, so the National Youth Gathering is something that Emmanuel has been participating in for a number of years. And uh, this year with it being in Houston, we're super excited for a new location and new things to explore. So we've been having information meetings for, for our kiddos and for families to talk about why it's important to sign up for the LC Meth Youth Gathering and what that's all about. So with the theme this year, it's In All Things. And we'll spend time when we're there in Bible study and service in learning things from different speakers about relevant topics. So we're super excited to be a part of that as our youth get to have opportunities to, to learn new things, to share, to become a stronger community, to, to strengthen their faith. And uh, for those heading off to college in another year or two, it, it also gives them some new insights as they prepare for that as well. Very cool. So I've, I've never been to the youth gathering, but it sounds pretty amazing. And you guys are planning pretty far ahead. What, what all do you do with the youth and families to prepare for going? Because mm -hmm. it seems like a bit of an endeavor, right? Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot that goes into it. And uh, we started talking about this probably a year ago, getting the data out to families, letting families know uh, what age groups could go, talking to potential adult leaders, getting them on board. So. Uh, the preparations include the fundraising because, of course, it, it costs money to do these kind of things. But then we also spend time in Bible study, taking a look at Colossians. We'll spend time in team building so the youth can all know each other well and also know our adult leaders. And then we do leadership training with our adult guides. So it all uh, it all helps prepare everyone to go to Houston to get the best experience that they can and to make sure that we are being faithful to why we're going. That's great. You're not just going on a whim. You're prepared right. and you're going to get more out of it. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's how youth ministry should be done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're super excited. Uh, we've had all of our information meetings. So now teens are sending in registrations and we have until the end of September for them to sign up. And then we'll know exactly uh, what, we, what we need as far as funding and, and those things as well. So, Jolene, I know you've gone to a few youth gatherings before. Mm -hmm. What number is this for you? <laughs> so, I went when I was in high school. That was my first one, and that was in New Orleans, and that was in 1992. And I've gone to every gathering since then. So, wow. I'd have to do some math. <laughs> yeah, but I have really appreciated and enjoyed each and every one. They've all been a little different, but yet still the same. So I am so excited for youth to get to experience this as well. It, it is a, it, it's a valuable event. There, there's so much like you pointed out that happens in the preparation for going to this that really is valuable as well. The Bible studies and the working mm -hmm. together as a team, all those things that happen in advance and working together as a team to raise funds. That's a, one of the things that we're talking about today as uh, the Emmanuel Lutheran youth and their families are preparing for the, the national, the LCMS national youth gathering in Houston, 2022. And uh, you have the Houston hustle. It's a 5k coming up. Tell us about this event, Anna. Okay. It is on Saturday, September 25th. 
at Lakeside 370 Park in St. Peter's, Missouri. And registration is at 7.30 a.m. The race begins at 8.30. And we're going to have, obviously, a 5K race and then a one-mile fun run. Everyone that participates will get a medal for, for their participation. And then we will also award our top male and female finisher, our top male and female in the 10 and under age group, 11 to 14 age group, and then 15 to 17 age group as well. We'll get prizes, I'm sorry, in addition to their medal. (laughs) Sounds like Uh, fun. (laughs) Yes, it it, it will be fun. And to register for the event, you can go to emmanuelstcharles.org. You can register or donate, or if you would like to become a sponsor, you can also do that at, at the website. Very cool. So is this, are we going to be walking around a parking lot, a track, uh, <laughs> a cool venue? What, where's this going to be at and, and kind of what can we expect on the route? So at Lakeside, there's a couple different pavilions. There's there's one when you pull into the park off to the right called the Sunset Pavilion, and that's where we're going to gather the starting line will be somewhere pretty close to there. And obviously we'll have signage and stuff to see where to go for the starting line and finish line. And there is a giant lake that we'll be running around. There's also a dog park that usually has many dogs in it. And and the scenery is just beautiful at Lakeside. There's you, at one point you're running along kind of like the river and, and farmland that backs up to the river and I don't know. It's just, it's, I love going there for the nature of the park and, and being able to see all that, you know, God has blessed us with here on earth. Very cool. I'll probably do the the fun run. That sounds <laughs> yeah. my speech. <laughs> that one mile sounds a lot better, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can do that. If it's downhill, we're going to be okay. <laughs> Maybe part of it. <laughs> Is there any running that's really fun? Oh, I don't know. It's fun when it's done. That's yeah, the best exactly. part, right? <laughs> no, I enjoy running too and hoping to make it. I think it's going to be a fantastic event. And the, the location sounds really great. Yeah. Like that's one of the... the that's the type of area where I like to run is out in the woods. I'm not a city runner. So this sounds like the, the yeah, great place to style. be. So all my trail run and friends, this is the thing to sign up for this coming September. And by se- the later in September, the, the temperature Weather. should be a little bit cooler, <laughs> a little more tolerable here in St. Louis. It sounds like a <laughs> <laughs> well, Anna, how do we, how do we register? What do we need to know to be a part of the Houston hustle for youth at Emmanuel? Okay. If you go to Emmanuel St. Charles, Dot org. There is um, a link for the Houston Hustle, and on there you would you'll you'll enter your name and and ask you you know your birthday and things like that. You will have a thirty five dollar fee to run to race, and you get a t shirt, a medal, and a water bottle. It it sounds like a really fun event, and it sounds like oh, I'm praying for good weather as well for that day as folks come out to uh, to run and to support the youth of Emmanuel Lutheran Church and School who are headed to the LCMS National Youth Gathering. Julie, yes. how does this event support the youth? You know, how is it just a part of all those preparations that go into preparing for the National Youth Gathering? We have a number of different fundraisers throughout the year, and the Houston Hustle is actually our first big one that we're doing for the gathering. So the support that we receive from this will kind of set us up to see what we need to do in the future. The nice thing with this is if someone doesn't want to run, if running's not their thing and and they don't like the idea of being outside in the St. Louis area in September, they can still donate by being a sponsor. There is actually a link as well on our registration just to donate. If you don't want to run and you just want to make a monetary donation, you can do that. But after we do the Houston Hustle, like the youth will be helping as well. So it starts building that community. And then from there, uh, we have some different fundraising that will be coming up to including trivia night and an Italian dinner and some things that we've had to cancel the last year and a half because of of COVID and and other concerns. So we're Mm -hmm. excited. We get to start off with something fun and outside and it's just a beautiful place for us to gather and, and kick things what do you see? I mean, you've been you've prepared for many national youth gatherings before as a director of Christian education. What do you see happening over that year, or maybe two years, even preparing for a national youth gathering? What do you see happening among the youth and their families as they prepare leading up to that? Yeah. So during that time, 
there's a lot of community that is built. In churches, it varies from church to church, but at Emmanuel, we're a larger congregation and we have five different worship services. We have kids that go to so many different high schools. So events like this also bring the group together and they can start getting to know each other. Parents can get to know other parents and uh, builds that, that trust and that bridge of knowing who people are and what the event is all about. So the time together ahead of time is super important to having success at the end as we head to the gathering. The Houston Hustle for Emmanuel Lutheran Youth headed to the LCMS National Youth Gathering taking place Saturday, September 25th. You can find more information at emmanuelstcharles.org. It's going to be a fantastic event. We're praying for great weather oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> so that we can have a great day supporting the youth. You can find more Im- information again at emmanuelstcharles.org. We'll provide the link as well in today's program notes so you can find it there. My guest today, Anna Bile Smith, thanks so much for being my guest, event coordinator for the Houston and hustle. Thanks for joining us on the Coffee Hour today. Thank you very much for having me. And Jolene Seaworth, a DCE at Emmanuel St. Charles. Thanks so much for being my guest on the Coffee Hour. Thank you. You're listening to the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Pastor James Cleland. Gonna put on my running shoes. <laughs>